today on Fast Food Face Off, we're having a good old fashioned fish fight. Welcome back, Tasty Vibe Tribe. Today's episode is all about the fish sandwich. We have seven different fish sandwiches from six different companies. Wendy's, White Castle, Popeyes, McDonald's, Smashburger, and Burger King. Without further ado, let's crush some calories. First sandwich up, the OG McDonald's fish sandwich, right? A lot of the other ones were newer style fish sandwiches. I haven't had them myself, so I just wanted to start with a classic, and this is about as classic as it gets. First bite. Welcome back, fast food fanatics. Let's dig in. So it's a classic for a reason. It just tastes like a giant fish stick. In a good way. It's very reminiscent of maybe like a, a dinner where you have like fish sticks and, and french fries, whatever the case may be, but it, it kind of gives me that kind of vibe, right? That kind of nostalgia. Really nice, crispy coating. The, the bun is nice and soft, it complements it. And then just some cheese and tartar sauce for good measure. I mean, you can't really ask for much more. Next up, Burger King. So I've never actually had the fish sandwich from Burger King and uh, I'm actually kind of anxious to try it. The only real difference I think between this and McDonald's is one, they excluded the cheese and then they went with pickles and lettuce. I'm curious to see how like the sourness from the pickles and then maybe like the crunch and texture from the lettuce play into this sandwich versus something like McDonald's. Let's see how it tastes. As a side note, make sure to ask for this one with cheese because it doesn't come with its standard. So I'm not mad at the um, the pickles on this. It punches it up in a pleasant way. I think it kind of helped balance out like the idea of what McDonald's was doing with tartar sauce. You have more of like a sour brightness because of the pickles as opposed to maybe like a heavierness with like a, it being like mayo forward. The only difference is that the cheese kind of plays up a little bit of the salt factor, whereas this seems a little under seasoned, which is kind of typical of Burger King. But other than that, it's a really tasty fish sandwich. Really, Josh? Heavierness? That's not even a word. Next up is Wendy's. Again, I haven't actually had this one. It's weird because I like fish sandwiches, but I'm, I'm not too adventurous, I guess, when it comes to, you know, fast food fish sandwiches. I'm going on an adventure! And I've really only ever had McDonald's. It's just one of those things, it's a nostalgic thing for me. When I'm in the mood for one, that's really what I go for. So I'm just curious to see how all of these kind of play against one another and the subtle differences between one to the next. Let's see how it tastes. Before I let you guys get a look, that's a good fish sandwich. The breading is nice and crunchy. The filet itself is really tender. They added cheese on here, which punches up that kind of umami salty factor. And then they went with lettuce and pickles and then some sort of like a tartar sauce. I know that it seems like these are a lot of the same ingredients and how could they be that different? But the textural component of the way that Wendy's like fries this and breads this, it just seems like it's a better fish sandwich than the uh, the last two I had. Although a bunch of different companies said that they use panko breading, I thought that Wendy's was the absolute best out of all of them. That crunch factor, mm, so good. Next up, as far as like the newer fish sandwiches that are coming out, I would say that this is probably the most new, is Popeye's Cajun Flounder Fish Sandwich. A lot of these are or Pollock, even though they don't really tell you what kind of fish they are. More of the newer ones are flounder, crab cake, you know, just different types of fish. It's not all just kind of the traditional Pollock that you get from a lot of these other companies or cod, which is just, you know, not quite as good of a fish. Enough of that, let's see how it tastes. I'll let you guys get a closer look. I need Mrs. Fast Food's Face Off's taste buds on this because I want to see what she says real quick and then I will let you know what I think about this. 
So, now that she's sitting with this, this is the least fishy sandwich that not out of this group, but that I've ever had. It's so not fishy that I thought it was chicken. And it, it tastes like chicken, it, it right? It tastes like a chicken sandwich. It tastes like a chicken sandwich. So, so Popeyes, kudos on making the least fishy fish sandwich. For people that are pescatarian that really miss chicken, or for people that just don't like the taste of fish, but know that they should eat more of it maybe, this is probably gonna be the sandwich for you. I feel like Jessica Simpson, you know when she was like, you know, chicken of the sea? Is this chicken what I have or is this fish? That's, that's this, that's exactly what I'm eating. I'm eating the chicken of the sea of fish sandwiches. There's nothing wrong with it. It's as good as like their chicken sandwich, especially with like the pickles and like the remoulade. It just doesn't really scream fish to me. Another thing that I wish that Popeyes would have done is if you're gonna market the idea of something being like Cajun, you think of like punched up flavor and seasonings. I feel like this is really mild in the Cajun department. Like I wanted this thing to just be a flavor bomb and I'm not saying it's not tasty and I'm not saying it's not seasoned. I'm just saying that it's not as Cajun-y, if that's a word. God as I wish that it was. This just kind of falls a little flat and I feel like that's just kind of clever marketing uh, as opposed to really, you know, delivering on what you said. Pro tip, I'd ask for one of those Cajun Sparkle seasoning packets to really punch up the Cajun flavoring on these. New to the game is White Castle with their fish sandwich offerings. We have a crab cake slider and then their traditional fish slider with cheese. Most people don't think White Castle when they think fish sandwiches, but I'm ready to be proven wrong by this star course in the fish sandwich challenge. Before I get into these though, if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications. If you really enjoy the video, smash that like button and please share this video around so that we can stay growing that tasty vibe tribe. Let's get back into it. I wanna try the crab cake slider first just because it's completely different than the flavors that I'm getting from a lot of this other stuff. Let's see how it tastes. I'll let you guys get a closer look. So when you're eating something like the fish sandwiches that I've been eating, and then you have something that has crab, it immediately just smacks you in the face with that crab flavor. I don't know whether or not it's real crab, it's probably artificial crab, but regardless, it's spot on a crab cake slider. This is very good considering that this is White Castle. No shade at, you know, White Castle, it's just, Again, like I said, you would think that it would be the dark horse as far as fish sandwiches go. There's a remoulade on there. It's nice and crispy. It's tender and uh, kind of soft on the inside like you would expect from a good crab cake. And uh, it's real easy to eat. It's only a couple of bites. This is really tasty. The sauce on that crab cake slider is what really did it for me. And honestly, it makes me wish that White Castle put sauces on more of their limited release items. Moving on to just the standard um, fish and cheese slider. So the slider on this is actually almost reminiscent of what Wendy's was able to accomplish with the batter. It's nice and crispy on the outside, pretty flaky on the inside, not overly greasy or anything like that. And I don't know what it is, but for whatever reason, the cheese that they use at White Castle, it just tastes a little bit better than any other fast food cheese that I've had. I don't know where they supply or you know get this from, but it's really good, just generic American cheese. And it really works with this. The only thing holding this back is it would have been nice if there was a little bit of a tartar sauce on here. I don't know whether or not there is, but it doesn't look like there is one. That's what's missing from this. You just need a little bit of that kind of relishy pickle style bite to balance out the rest of this sandwich. Last up, Smash Burgers fish sandwich. So I kind of threw this in because I found out about this, that they're running like a special, it's like buy one, get one, fish Friday type deals for Smash Burger. Shameless plug, you're welcome. But the reason why I wanted to try this is because it's supposed to be a beer battered fried fish and it's Yungling or Yingling beer. So I'm curious to see how that plays into the flavor profile of differentiating it from just a regular battered fish sandwich. Let's see how this one tastes. There's a nice crunch on this. 
I would say that this is probably one of the better batters. It's not just a gimmick. Something about the way that beer batter works with anything that you fry it in, it makes it just a, a touch more airy. It complements stuff that's lighter, like chicken and fish. Some of the other ones, you can definitely tell that it was just a regular kind of uh, breading or coating as opposed to something like beer batter or I know that there was another company that used like a panko style breadcrumb But this is pretty good Although you can't taste the beer inside of this batter. I think if it wasn't there there would be a noticeable difference in the coating For me the only thing that's holding this back a little bit is the tomato I just don't see where that works with this fish sandwich I get what Smashburger was doing. A deluxe sandwich is usually kind of lettuce and tomato. If they would have just kept it lettuce and then the cheese and then the, the remoulade or the sauce that they have on there, this would have been much better. I would have subbed out the tomato for pickles. I just think that that just naturally makes more sense. I don't know how you design something like this and decide to go with tomato over pickle. So I'm gonna take these tomatoes off because it's just not doing it for me. I know I normally don't do that, but to just kind of finish this up, I just don't want it with tomato. Nor should you get it with tomato, because that's just weird. It's time to reel it in for the final review. Boy, that pun was fishy. <laughs> Jokes aside, let's see which one of these companies gets the fish sandwich bragging rights. Final review time. Out of all of these, you're not really gonna go wrong with any of them. There's nothing exceptionally bad about any of these sandwiches. They did a pretty good job across the board. But that's not what we're here for. We want to know where you guys should be spending your money and where the best bang for the buck is. In my opinion, I'm going to kind of do something that I normally don't do. And then I'm going to give you three options for three different reasons. For me, if you want something that's just kind of a standard fish filet with cheese and tartar sauce, I'm going with Wendy's. My girl Wendy killed it on this one. The coating, the seasoning... Um, the proportions of everything, the textures, it was all there. It just is a better traditional fish sandwich than McDonald's. And I would say maybe a close second is Burger King, but definitely Wendy's on that front. If you want something that's more artisanal, for lack of a better term, then I would probably go with Smash Burger. The only thing is, is that I would ask that they remove the tomato and maybe get some of that remoulade or that tartar sauce on the side to see whether or not you can dip it. You know, I think that a little bit more would have gone a long way for that sandwich. But the breading on that, that beer batter, that's not a gimmick. That is delicious. It made for the best textural experience out of all the other fish sandwiches. But for me, bang for buck, taste, it being a dark horse kind of coming out of nowhere is that crab cake slider from White Castle. And yeah, yeah, I know. Before I get killed in the comments section, Mrs. It's fast fish. Food... Crab is technically not a fish, I'm aware. But to all the other fast food companies out there that are doing fish sandwiches, how is it that White Castle's marketing team, their R&D department, beats you guys to crab cake sliders or crab cake sandwiches? You don't think that somebody like Smashburger or like Shake Shack or McDonald's, any of these other places would have done something like a crab cake slider by now, but they haven't. And White Castle threw down the gauntlet with what I feel is the best out of all of them as far as a fish-like sandwich. As always, we're gonna have the calories and we're gonna have the price listed for you guys. These widely varied so much that I'm not even really gonna get into it for the most part, but just know that respectively, White Castle and Smashburger are on the low and high end of pretty much both of these categories. So that about wraps it up for us here at Fast Food Face Off. Make sure to head on over to our Instagram, guys. We're doing some fun stuff over there. A lot of product reviews. I want to make sure that you guys aren't wasting any money at fast food establishment or anywhere in the grocery store with uh, the newer products that these companies are coming out with. Let me be your guinea pig. Let us know in the DMs what it is you'd like to see me eat. We also didn't really get to properly mention that this is the first time we're shooting in the new space. Please let us know what you guys think. We did like, you know, the Funko Pops and kind of added that in the background. We have a sign that's getting made up and we'll shout those guys out once that comes. But we wanted to be able to make a better product and we think that this is a better product for you guys overall. As always, thanks again for watching. And remember, if you are what you eat, always eat amazing.